I actually found, I think the previous owner's iPhone. The whole situation is crazy. So we had to bring in a private investigator. All right guys, so here's the deal. I'm gonna keep my identity private. Since we installed this, dude, we may even need to get a carbon trunk lid for this. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna get started on our brand new build, the 2023 BMW M3. This thing is absolutely just insane, although it's smashed, but you know what? That's why it's here today, to get rebuilt. And we're gonna go ahead and start digging into this thing. We already ordered a bunch of parts from the dealership, but I'm sure there's gonna be a few little things that we do gotta add to that list. So we're gonna get started with probably tearing apart this front end right here. And we did notice like some wires that are cut. So we gotta figure that out. And then we just gotta go ahead and just make sure everything is on the way. That way we don't have any delays in this rebuild process because we're super pumped about this sucker right here. And of course we do gotta take apart pretty much the whole interior. The dash is blown and we gotta send off seat belts. So that's gonna be a pretty tough challenge right there as well, but we're excited. So let's go ahead, not waste any time. Let's bring in some tools and rip this sucker apart. Alrighty guys, so we are ripping into this front end. We took apart a bunch of these damaged body panels, even the side skirt there, the fender. But you know what? We're noticing some Mickey Mouse stuff. Somebody did the same thing that they did to the interior where they cut the airbags and of course messed with the power fuse. They did the same thing to the front. So we thought these wires right here were just cut by the accident. But then we looked at this wiring harness back here. Somebody literally snipped that right there with just some wire cutters which is definitely like a rookie thing to do. You know what I mean? Why Why not just unplug it or something? So I guess they probably did that just so there's less wires just dangling around or something like that, which is kind of insane. And even the hood, we actually noticed that they probably straightened that sucker out because normally with the even light collision up front, the hood is gonna be bent, something like that right there. So um, definitely somebody doctored it up and it kind of scares us a little bit more because we really don't know if they ran this car a super long time with no radiator coolant in it. Maybe there's no engine oil in it, dude. Who knows what's going on? And actually we went and looked back at the Copart listing and it didn't say who the seller was, but we found out that it was a third party seller, which never want to buy a third party. So honestly, dude, we made a rookie mistake. You. You not made a rookie. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I will admit I did actually buy this thing without consulting with anybody. So I thought I was just gonna surprise you guys, but you know what? I did so this is a car full of surprises. So you got that right. <laughs> at the end of the day, we got something that we're gonna rebuild. I think honestly we still got a good deal on it and it's still gonna be a super epic build. But as for this side over here, it's looking pretty good. We are gonna continue ripping into this sucker a little bit more. We gotta remove probably the whole entire cooling system, just removed a bunch of damaged components here, and then I think we'll be done with this front end.
So guys, we actually ended up not having to remove these center radiators right here because those frame rails with that bumper bar right there just popped right out and this just stayed right here and it's all good. And there was coolant in that thing, which that means the engine had a little bit of coolant, which that makes us feel better. And it had oil because if you look down here, this oil cooler got completely bent, but it did not get punctured. So there's oil in that sucker. We're gonna leave that there for now until our new one comes in. Then we'll do like an oil change and drain everything at once. And that's a good sign right there. But anyways, after popping everything out, we moved on to the windshield right here, removed some cowling, the wipers, and we easily popped that sucker off right there with our amazing wire tool because that carbon fiber right there, very, very delicate stuff. If you hit that with one of those little buzzers, you're done right there. But anyways, all that's removed. The whole front end is taken apart. Now it's time to move on to this dash right here. This is gonna be our first BMW dash or first BMW interior. So let's hop in there and see how hard it really is. Guys, check this out. So while we were popping out the seats, we actually found, I think the previous owner's iPhone and it's an unreleased, man. Look at this sucker right there, man. That's an iPhone 1000. That's a big bad boy. But anyways, that screen was super cool. Popped off really easily. And the same with the interior, man. We were just moving right along. Pop the seats out, pop the center console out. The dash is almost ready to come out. We just gotta just go through all the wires. It's getting a little bit more technical with all the electronics, but no big deal. I think we're gonna get it out here really soon, but the seats are out and these suckers are lightweight. I mean, usually it takes like three of us to get one seat out, but pop those suckers out, got all the seat belts out. They're going in boxes. Everything's getting wrapped up. All the carbon fiber is getting wrapped up in this blue protective wrap. That way nothing gets damaged. And I mean, we're looking good, but anyways, I'm gonna make a quick phone call and then we're gonna hop back in there and take the dash out. Check it out guys, we finally got the dash out and it was actually a lot easier than we thought. We didn't have to take out that frame or anything. We just had to take off the outer piece right here. Just a bunch of screws that were hidden, some wires and this sucker just popped clean out. But still, I did not see that $5,000 price tag for something like this right here. It's just absolutely insane. I mean, this is the nice package. 
It's got the extended leather, so leather down low, leather up top, and the blue matches the door panels, which is super cool. But of course, like we mentioned before, we are shipping this off. We're gonna ship it to L&D Solutions, and I think they're just gonna either sew that seam back up right there because it's kind of like designed like seat uh, airbags, pretty much where it busts at the seams. Looks like it does the same here, or they might have to replace the whole entire leather right here if they can't get that crease out right there. But either way it goes, it's gonna look brand spanking new. But that's it for that interior. We just gotta ship that off along with the seat belts. But we got some more information, guys, on this car. The whole situation is crazy, so we had to bring in a private investigator. All right, guys, so here's the deal. I'm gonna keep my identity private because I want you guys to enjoy your YouTube and I don't wanna be any part of it. But I found your guys' car right here on this website. <laughs> All right, anyways, guys, we found the car basically it's been played before as you guys can tell that hood is way more damaged and all the airbags are actually pretty much visible there you see not, nothing is cut out even the roof airbags let me see if i can find it let me see if i can work this thing you can see the roof airbags right there and it actually sold for thirty-five thousand dollars, which is a really good deal so somebody took this car and basically this is somebody's business this is what they do they buy cars like this and it's actually kind of a, not a bad idea, but I don't think it's really fair, to be honest. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Should be illegal. You know Should what be I mean? illegal, honestly, because yeah. you're basically kind of just doctoring it up a little bit. Who knows what other things they hid and, you know, try to hide, that, cover up. They call much. these cars Mickey Mouses. <laughs> exactly. That's where that term comes from, Mickey Mouse. So basically, somebody bought it for 35 cut out the airbag, straighten out the hood, make it made it look way less damaged. Got it to run. Got it to run, yep. Just kind of Mickey Mouse that pyro fuse, and then it sold for... 39000 what we bought it for. So we're kind of revealing the price. But honestly, that's not much more. Is it really worth it? You know what I mean? I think what they do is actually they buy it in one area, and then they ship it to another area. So this car has a Florida title, I think, and it went to Texas. So maybe stuff goes for more in Texas. Somebody found out a loophole pretty or much. Or it's too. easier to sell when you swap it to different, you know, co-part and stuff like that you know people are not suspicious that's a good point right there that's also a really good point but other but honestly somebody didn't do nothing too crazy we've seen crazier mickey mouses the worst is body work when somebody body work does is the body worst. work and paint or framework when uh, somebody fixes a little bit of framework pulls a wheel pulls a frame rail you don't want that car that's the worst you do not want that at all but this is our car this is how we bought it off a of copart right here you know newer pictures looks a little more appealing somebody cleaned it up and all that good stuff look at that barely looks damaged yeah, right there dude that's crazy wild. can't see no airbags just like a little bit of the knee airbag hey you know what i've seen even worse is somebody actually like stuffs the whole entire airbag into the steering wheel at least they didn't hide all those airbags you know what i mean yeah i mean so, we still got a really good deal on the car really good deal and on, honestly the motor is still really good because it sounds healthy i think i think we're good but that's that right there hopefully we never run into this issue again sick dude oh my <laughs> goodness our first mod is finally here we just assembled it and just mocked it up because we still don't know how we feel about yeah, this. yeah it's dude. a little different it's our very first swan neck style it's our very first aggressive wing but dude after throwing it on here you step back man this thing looks so sick 
and it's going to need the downforce. That's all I got to say. 100%. And this right here is an Adro wing from Island Raceworks. They have some absolute awesome Dude. stuff. Dude, look at the quality, the man. The weave is perfect. There's no mess-ups in the weave. It's almost OEM quality right there. That is nice and sick. Matches the carbon roof and everything. I mean, since we installed this, dude, we may even need to get a carbon trunk lid for this thing. That's what we were thinking, yeah. That's why we haven't actually fully bolted it onto this trunk, which look at the mounts, dude. There's going to be some serious mounts. Got those carbon yeah. plates. Yeah, it's going to go completely drilled through, and this is going to sandwich everything together, and it's on 3M, so it's going to be perfect. But since this wing kind of adds weight we need to get a carbon trunk lid that way we kind of lose the weight in the trunk and just add the wing and i think it's gonna flow so good it's gonna look sick all right so it's time to wrap this video up but you know what we're gonna go ahead and share you guys the epic plans that we have for this m3 right here so of course uh, as we were working on the front end we did already order the rest of the original parts there was a bunch this is probably gonna be like four thousand dollars more in dealership parts but we went ahead and ordered that because we don't want any delays with this project because it's gonna be insane we already ordered a turbo, a single turbo kit for this thing from KLM. You guys know those are the top of the line turbo kits and it's gonna sit right here. I'm just excited because it's gonna be here in about a week and a half, but we can go ahead and start throwing that sucker on right there and it's gonna push around 850 horsepower to the rear wheels right there. That's insane, dude, a manual rear wheel drive, 850 horsepower, that might be a little dangerous, but we're still gonna shed even more weight, you know what I mean? We're not just done with this weight right here, we're gonna keep getting lighter and lighter, dude, you know yeah. what I mean? Carbon, that's why we're doing carbon. We wanna lighten the load on this yep. car right here. That way it makes it for a little bit of funner car. You exactly, know I mean? yeah, so there's the other plans. We already ordered a carbon hood, carbon lip, carbon side skirts, carbon mirrors. We wanna go crazy with the carbon on this car just because of the color. The color is just crazy and it just flows so good with carbon fiber. So I think this is the perfect one to do it. So let us know what you guys think of maybe even carbon fenders. Is that gonna be a little tacky? I don't know, we'll see. But honestly, you guys drop that in the comment section down below, what kind of carbon you wanna see, what kind of mods you wanna see on this thing. And we might just put it on this car right here. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Stay tuned and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.